Hey everybody, welcome back to the Thinking Crypto channel. I hope you're doing well because I've got some very big news to share with you all. George Soros, many of you may recognize that name. It has a lot of power and money behind it and a lot of history of participating in asset classes. Well, George Soros has given the green light for his respective fund to buy Bitcoin, trade Bitcoin, get into crypto. This is huge and we're seeing just the institutional herd. They're coming in one by one. It seems like every week, every month, we're seeing and hearing about this. Uh, on the same note, NYDIG, which is a Bitcoin investment firm, they have taken out a full page ad in the Wall Street Journal. We're seeing the ramp up of mainstream marketing. Um, we also have a partnership which NYDIG has formed to allow multiple banks and credit unions to participate in crypto. Guys, huge on-ramp for banks, and, and I need to break that down for you. You got to watch this video to the end. In addition, billionaire hedge fund manager Steve Cohen, they're looking to hire a Bitcoin crypto uh, a professional or a person who has experience there to build out that division of their hedge fund. Huge adoption news. We're going to go through everything. Before I get into it, guys, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment below and hit the subscribe button if you're new here. It helps support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. Guys, don't forget to sign up for my weekly newsletter. No spam, all crypto insights and knowledge. Please sign up. It helps support the channel. Also, this video is sponsored by OKCoin Crypto Exchange, which has the lowest fees around. Why pay high fees, guys? Save your money. Use that money that you save towards your crypto assets. Sign up with OKCoin. Link in the description. In fact, tomorrow they are going to have a huge new coin listing, which the other major exchanges don't have, guys. And they're going to be giving away some of the, the that respective crypto. So you, you can get some free crypto. Why not, right? So be sure to sign up and look out for the announcement tomorrow. So guys, check this out out george soros the soros fund management the family investment firm managed by billionaire george soros has been given the green light to trade bitcoin uh here this is a report from the street and while the street makes you pay to read the entire article i'll pull the summary here from coin telegraph so in addition to trading crypto, Soros Fund Management is said to be in discussion to acquire blockchain-focused firms. Guys, I know I ask this question a lot when I do my videos. Do you see what is happening here? Not what they say. What are they doing? Where's the money going? Despite the price fluctuation, despite the corrections, these people are looking at this, this, this macro level, this asset class uh, from a macro level perspective, and they are setting up shop. They're putting their stake in the ground. So people familiar with the matter told author Michael Bodley that Dan Fitzpatrick, the chief investment officer for Soros Fund Management, gave the green light to trade Bitcoin and possibly other cryptocurrencies in the last few weeks. Speaking on condition of anonymity, the sources said Fitz, Fitch, oh my goodness, Fitzpatrick and her team have been exploring cryptocurrencies for some time and that the latest venture is more than just kicking the tires on digital assets. You don't say. When you have Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, and some of the wealthiest and largest banks around the globe jumping in, they're not going to come in here just to play around, guys. They know what's been happening. And as always, this is not something they just dreamt up of one day. They've been looking at this for years, doing their study, studying, doing their research and ana analysis, and they've been putting together a plan. And they've probably already long time ago taking a position and been building on that. So... I think if you understand how the world works and how smart money works, they don't just do things overnight and in a matter of a couple of weeks. They've been doing this for years. Um, we've seen this from the likes of Jamie Dimon, right? They, Jamie Dimon trashed Bitcoin, but they were secretly building JPM coin, right? Their own stable coin on the blockchain. So we've seen the smoke and mirrors moves over the years. So my point is, this, this, they're now letting the news come out but this has been going on for years, right? I think many of us who follow the crypto market and other traditional asset classes know this. So Fitzpatrick is also reportedly in conversations about acquiring a private stake in leading blockchain-based enterprises. Though the names of these companies weren't provided, as Telegraph reported, Soros managed 
Soar's fund management was one of several firms behind the $200 million funding of New York Digital Investment Group, better known as NYDIG. We're going to talk about them right after this. Um, Mass Mutual, Morgan Stanley, and Stone Ridge Holdings Group also participated. Guys, uh, uh, once again, I hope you see what is happening here. We are seeing, once again, week over week, month over month, just a whole bunch of institutional players jumping in. And check this out. NYDIG took out a full page ad in the Wall Street Journal saying Bitcoin for the people. The mass marketing is starting, guys. It's ramping up. And they tweeted the following. In the coming months, financial institutions and millions of consumers will gain access to the powerful Bitcoin network. We're proud to come together with these innovative companies to help bi- help make Bitcoin accessible to all. Notice what they said. In the coming months, right? Millions. And, and of course, institutions will be um, getting on board. Do they know something we don't know? I think they're expecting another leg up in the bull run and the mass marketing. And, and what happens with that? Higher prices. So don't be uh, discouraged by this correction. The market is very volatile. I know that. Um, it, you know, like we saw Bitcoin drop over 50%, but that's okay. When you zoom out and look at it from a macro level, we're still on track, higher highs, higher lows. And it's, the, it's like a pendulum. The high, you know, the high swings of the prices going up super fast, right? In a matter of months, also swings back the other way to go low. Does that mean that we're not going to keep going up? No, we are still in a bull market. We still have another run up. I, I think Bitcoin's going to double peak like it did in 2013. Um, is that a certainty? Because I always want to keep it real with you guys. Is that a hundred percent certainly that is exactly what's going to happen? Of course not. I think we got to look at it from a probability standpoint. I think there's a seventy percent chance of the another bull run in this bull market, and then there's a thirty percent chance it doesn't happen and we go into a bear market. Uh, once again, to keep it real with you guys, you got to play the percentages here. There's no hundred percent guarantee. No, unless. You know, you're maybe George Soros and you have the money to control the market, right? But uh, I hope you guys understand when you look at the data and the trends and the analytics and so forth, um, and you look at previous cycles and how they played out and how those market cycles played out, you can get an idea of what's to come. And and that's what I think. And I think uh, some other folks who are looking at the fundamentals and the the macro level charts, like the stock to flow model, uh, see that we are still on track. So also check this out, guys. Um, A new deal between payments giant NCR and NYDIG will bring Bitcoin purchases to 650 U.S. banks and credit unions. NCR offers ATMs and kiosks in 160 countries. They weren't kidding when they tweeted that uh, financial institutions and millions of consumers will gain access. They weren't kidding. They're part of setting up the infrastructure, the on-ramp for that. This is huge and unprecedented. So in total, NCR serves 180,000 restaurants, retail chains, and more, including fifth group restaurants in Georgia and Metropolitan at the nine hotels in Ohio, all of which could eventually be open to Bitcoin payments if everything proceeds according to plan. It will. Um, It may, look, you may have some delays here and there, but They've got the funding. They've got the money. Um, obviously, NYDIG, as mentioned, the Soros Fund is invested in it. So they've got the backing, my friends. And these are the elites of the elites, right? The Wall Street Connected Group, uh, whatever you want to call them, right? They have money, they have power, and they have political influence. I think it's pretty clear what's happening. There's green light across the board here for this asset class to take off. It doesn't matter what stupid politician or idiot starts putting out FUD and saying, oh, we're going to do this and blah, 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 and whatever. The big money and money controls politics, they have taken their position, they're building, and no politician is going to stand in their way. And I, I, and I don't like to get into politics, but I think you have to understand the dynamic of money and politics in the United States and campaign donations. When you have these folks who donate to politicians and regulators to get laws in their favor, and they're putting their money in uh, now, millions, and making these investments like we've been talking about, and Dreesen Horowitz, their $2.2 billion crypto fund, you think they were just, they're going to play around if they knew there was some risks here? No, guys, come on. 
Come on. I think you all know what is happening here, right? Huge news, uh, very bullish. And uh, here's some more bullish news. Point seventy two. A two a twenty two billion dollar hedge fund led by billionaire Steve Cohen is looking to hire a lead for its Bitcoin investment arm. You don't say. You got to get on board, guys. Get on the train or you'll be left behind. The move for the multi-strategy hedge fund firm, which runs $22.1 billion, is yet another bullish indicator for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. And this was reported by The Street. I can't uh, read the full article because they want me to pay. (laughs) But uh, once again, do you see what is happening here? Uh, And if people you know, or even if yourself, you're still on the fence about crypto, this is the information. This is what you want to see, right? Forget about price movements for for a second. Who is getting involved? Who's building? Who's setting up shop? And that is an indication of what's to come. And we're seeing the biggest of the biggest, the elite of the elite jumping in here. And not just the institutions and banks and stock exchanges, but politicians. Look at this. Senator Cynthia Loomis backs crypto for U.S. retirement plans. We know she's been a Bitcoin crypto bull for a while, and uh, she's out of Wyoming, which is very crypto friendly. But now they're pushing the narrative. They're going on TV and they're saying, yes, crypto is good. Yes, Bitcoin is good. Yes, you should have in your retirement account. What do you think is going to happen (laughs) as that message starts seeping into the minds of people, right? The awareness, the knowledge. And like I've been saying, when a Bitcoin ETF, more than one, gets approved by the SEC, and I think it's going to happen this year because of the pressure from the big money. We saw uh, Kathy Wood, ARK Invest, they just threw their hat in the ring. Uh, Once that gets approved, tons of money from retirement accounts and investment firms and the capital sitting on the sidelines is going to jump into the market. Book it. It's going to happen. Uh, Let me give you some details. Senator Cynthia Loomis wants to see crypto assets become a normal part of the diversified asset allocations in U.S. citizens' retirement plans. Uh, Speaking um, during the CNBC Financial Advisor Summit on June 29th, Senator Loomis stated she would like to see Bitcoin and other crypto assets become part of a normal um, part of uh, diversified asset allocations used for retirement funds in order to protect from inflation. Guys, I mean, and that is a big move of why the big players are doing what they're doing is to uh, avoid inflation. Uh, here's a quote. I also like to see individuals be able to use Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies of their preference that are safe, that have met the hurdles of anti-money laundering and the Bank Secrecy Act, she added. Um, and let's see here. She she talked about the inflation, that Congress spends trillions and trillions of dollars and is flooding our economy and the world economy with U.S. dollars. There's no way that we cannot debase the value of the U.S. dollar. I, I mean, I If you understand monetary policy, this is pretty straightforward. But it's important that uh, more of the the masses understand this. You and I get this, right? We're early adopters. We're in the uh, lucrative position to make significant returns if we're patient. Um, But there's many people who don't, who are not paying attention, who think still think this is a fad or a scam or whatever. They just don't understand it. And I think when you have these uh, senators going on TV and and the mass marketing. All these things will help educate people and bring them into the asset class, just like it did with previous asset classes. And that was, you know, the dot-com boom and obviously with stocks and and so on and so forth, guys. Um, Very bullish. Another example of this, we talked about the Bank of International Settlements. Recently, they gave the green light to all central banks to build CBDCs. If you follow this channel, if you follow me on Twitter, you see me talk about the digital token economy, which will include CBDCs, digital uh, currencies, uh, crypto assets, digital assets, NFTs, um, all kinds of DeFi products and things like that. That is where we're headed. Whether you like it or not, that is where we're headed. And the governments are on board and clearly the institutional players, the big money are on board as well. Check this out, what they what they tweeted. Starting soon, Hyun Sung Shin, if I'm saying his name right, participates in a panel titled from Bitcoin to stablecoins and CBDCs, how digital technology is transforming the global monetary system. And it says here, this is at the Bank of Russia International Financial Congress. Guys, you got central banks here 
yes, they're pushing their narrative of CBDCs, but they can't ignore Bitcoin. They can't ignore stable coins. Now they're talking about it, right? All of these things in conjunction. It is the spreading and the awareness of the knowledge of this technology, this asset class. And believe me when I tell you, despite smoke and mirrors moves and criticisms and FUD, they need Bitcoin to do well because Bitcoin and the, and the crypto market bringing in retail investors for them to make money um, and to get familiar with the technology, which is blockchain, will allow them to easily push at their CBDCs and get uh, commercial banks and people to use it. Now, uh, you know, in my discussion with Chris Giancarlo, my interview with him about the digital dollar, I said, well, how does this align with the Constitution and privacy, right? And that is still a discussion, a debate that needs to happen and how they're going to police this and what guardrails, because it will give the governments more um more power to track everything you do, what you buy and sell. And I think eventually they'll tax you um, in a, in instantly, right? This won't be like an end of year type thing in some ways, but they'll be able to track everything. And, and there's a privacy concern there. So um, just sharing my thoughts, guys, and I hope you see what is happening. I think we have to, as and this is why I still, you know, people may trash Bitcoin, but I still... Um, like to have Bitcoin around to keep the central banks and the governments honest. Bitcoin's not going to get rid of central banks and banks and, and, and governments, right? I think we know that. I think only Bitcoin maximalists kind of push that narrative. Um, I'm more of, this is a new asset class. There's different assets within it. And the technology is being adopted on a public and private sector, right? So that's that's the boat I'm on. I, I, it's just, this is the disruptive technology, but we have to make sure the government doesn't use it to steal our freedoms. I, I, I'm a big believer in that, and I would uh, fight against that for sure. Um, and that's why we we also need Bitcoin to be successful because it, it then um, allows people to actually have an alternative um, in the way it's set up to keep the central banks and the governments honest that, okay, they're coming with their CBDCs, they better make sure that it, they're not, you know, infringing on our privacy rights and things like that. So anyway, guys, I get off my soapbox. And uh, what do you all think about this? I, you know, th this is so bullish. I mean, it's it still surprises me after all these years of seeing Fidelities and Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan jumping into the market. And you have now George Soros, right? Um, NYDIG partnering with uh, th this, um, uh, excuse me, NCR to bring... Crypto purchases the banks and credit units, massive. And uh, you know, I, I, I hope you're not moving by emotions of the prices because if you do that, you will miss the long-term gains and the, the big things that are still yet to come. And this is a, a right here, a testament of what is to come. So guys, leave your thoughts and comments below, hit the thumbs up button, share this video, and I'll talk to you all later.